In this introduction, we're going to take a look at how FormPack software can be used to manage products. We can manage both raw materials and formulations. We're going to start by taking a look at a simple raw material. So we select Geraniol using Smart Search and we're immediately taken to the Key Details tab. This contains such information as the code and the name, whether the item is active and which class it's in, and also when it was created. The Identification tab is the place we'd enter things like a chemical name, any common names, disclosure and technical names, CAS numbers, EC numbers. We'll come back to certification with a different raw material and we'll take a look at classification. Here you can define your own attributes, typically things like sensory properties, odour, taste and feel. Other information can be added there also. In the Composition tab there'll be information if the raw material itself has a composition. In the Properties tab, there's access to a lot of data. The data appears in property groups. These collate related properties. Very diverse properties are possible. The application comes preloaded with some, as here, the EC hazard labels. You can also add and define your own. Properties can be manual or calculated, and they're incredibly useful for regulatory affairs. GHS hazards is an example of another property group included with the application. From just six manually entered properties, all the other properties have been derived, so things like the hazard statements and the precautionary statements, also the pictograms and the signal word. Properties aren't just about legislation. They can be about things such as stability, technical usability and also commercial parameters. I'll take a look at another property group, IFRA categories. Here you can see the QRA limits for Geraniol. From here, the limits of compositions can be calculated. One last property group, the Cosmetics and Detergents group. Here we've defined geraniol as an allergen and this will have an impact on calculations for compositions also. Moving on to attachments, attachments are a neat feature which allow you to upload a document that's been produced from outside a form pack and add it into the application so you can retrieve it. So here we've added actually the IFRA restriction for geraniol according to the 42nd amendment as a document downloaded from the IFRA website. You can organise and add different types of attachments, so here we're having a look at the structure of Geraniol. Although we're looking at technical information, you can add any kind of information here. The Document tab shows details of documents produced by the Formpack application. We'll take a closer look in a few minutes. The Purchasing tab lists things like supplier and current cost price. Let's take a look at another raw material, this time a complex raw material, lavender. Using Smart Search, we can find the item we want and select it. And I'll move more quickly through some of the tabs we've already visited. So Key Details and Identification, holding the kind of information we'd expect. Let's take a closer look at Certification. The Certification Facility allows you to manage properties such as Organic or Halal, basically anything that requires a third-party validation. In addition to managing the item status, it will also manage the process of obtaining certification. The classification tab contains information we've considered before. So let's take a look at the composition tab. As we already mentioned, lavender is a complex raw material. It actually contains components. We can take a look at them by selecting View Composition. The components we see here have properties of their own and can trigger properties for the lavender oil. This includes information such as EC hazards, IFRA and allergens. As before, property values can be seen in the property tab. Of course, it's still possible for a complex raw material to have manual properties such as Flashpoint. And if a calculated property is not appropriate for whatever reason, it can be overridden. Here we can see again GHS hazards, which are a combination of calculated and manual properties. Briefly looking in attachments, you can see we have an attachment type about aromatherapy. Let's take a closer look at documents that have been produced by Formpack. This lavender oil has had several documents produced and copies are stored here. We can select one, for example GHS Safety Data Sheet, select Print and then generate the PDF document. Documents are also stored and associated with customers and other companies. The useful thing about the document tab with items is that you can see an up-to-date version of the documents very simply. Documents work by taking the properties of the item and compiling them into the document template. 
It's possible to change the document templates that exist and also add new ones. All these tools provide really useful ways of managing products, their properties and associated information. Let's take a look at a different type of product, a formulation. Again, we can use Smart Search to select the item we're interested in. And the Viewer Formulation screen looks quite similar to the Viewer Raw Materials screen. Certification can apply equally to formulations as raw materials, and classification looks similar. Composition again, with the version number and details of who was the creator. In properties, the property groups are the same for raw materials as formulations and if we click on EC hazard labels, you can see that all of the methods are calculated. So all the EC hazards have been calculated based on the raw materials and their properties. This is also the case with IFRA. So those items with IFRA limits have contributed to the IFRA limit for the formulation. In the document tab, we can see where documents have been generated for the formulation. As before, we can select and print them to view the current status. And remember, these reported IFRA property values have come from calculated properties based on the raw materials in the formulation and their IFRA properties plus the percentage that they're used. So we've seen it's easily possible to add very useful information to raw materials, complex raw materials and formulations from properties to documents and attachments and classifications. That's great, but how easy is it to retrieve items from a system accessing some of these values? To do this, we use Find Matching Items, a really powerful search facility. We can enter single or multiple criteria to search our products. For example, we could enter a character class of lavender and press search to find product matches. With that simple search, our result includes both formulations and raw materials. Maybe we want to perform a narrower search, so we can select Reset and search again. In this search, we'll again search for lavender character class. And we're going to introduce a property search. So we're going to look for non-flammable items, which means flash point of greater than 61. Because properties are so diverse, you get a little helper of a balloon indicating the kind of property value that you're expected to enter. Let's click search again and see what happens now. This time we just have three matches two formulations and a raw material. Depending on our products and the way we've categorised them and their properties, we can perform very specific searches. This allows us to match products to customers and also find products ourselves based on quite diverse criteria. In this search, we're looking for a lavender character class, but we're now looking at stability properties, so things where the foam bar stability meets certain criteria. It's straightforward to add new properties into the application, so you can categorise and retrieve products in the way that makes sense for your business. Additionally, in Find Matching Items, there's a facility to perform a suitability check. This checks the matched items for compliance to rules that may have been entered either for the country or the company or even business rules you've entered yourself. When we press search, we find we have two matches. From this result screen, we can also compile a report. We simply select the items we're interested in, choose print, then we can specify the properties and the columns that we want to see. On the properties tab you can just use Smart Search to select which properties are important to view. There are other reporting facilities available in the software, but the Find Matching Items print feature is particularly useful because it's so quick and easy to do. When we've specified the columns and properties we want to see in our report, we simply press print. The report is generated and we can either send it to the printer or save it to our computer. We hope this has been a really useful introduction to product management using Formpack software. If you would like further information, please contact us or check out the website.